Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to replace the battery in the early 2011 and late 2011 13-inch MacBook Pro. When replacing the battery in this machine, it's important that you calibrate the power management system in order to get the full use of your battery. We include these instructions as well, so be sure to watch all the way to the end of the video. We've already gathered our materials, shut down and unplugged the MacBook Pro, and are working on a soft static-free surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to close the MacBook Pro and flip it over. On the bottom are 10 Phillips screws which will need to be removed. These three screws are longer than the others, so we'll remove them first. Then, remove the remaining seven screws, which are all the same size. You can now lift the bottom cover off and set it aside. Detach the battery connector by lifting up on the sides using either your fingernails or a nylon tool. Once the connector is detached, we'll need to remove these two trilobe screws that hold the battery in place. Finally, peel back the label on the left so it's no longer attached to the frame of the MacBook Pro. You should now be able to use the plastic tab to lift the battery up, out from under the tabs, and lift it out of the MacBook Pro. Set your new battery into the MacBook Pro so that these three notches fit under these three tabs and make sure it sits flat in the bay. You can now replace the two trilobe screws that hold it in place. These screws are two different lengths. The longest one goes in the right hole. And the shorter one goes on the left. Finally, align the battery connector with its socket and gently but firmly push it into place. We can now close up the MacBook Pro. Set the bottom cover back into place. Use the three longest screws in these three holes. Finally, replace the remaining seven screws, which are all the same size. You may now flip your MacBook Pro over, open it up, and turn it on. Now that the battery is installed and working, we need to calibrate the power system. We'll be demonstrating the process with a MacBook Pro, but it's the same for all MacBook models. First, shut your computer all the way down. Then, attach the power adapter. The light on the adapter should turn amber to show that the battery is charging. Once the battery is 100% charged, the light should turn green. Once it has, you should leave it connected for at least two more hours. However, you can use your computer during this time rather than leaving it off. After that, we'll need to discharge the battery. First, in the Energy Saver Preference pane, make sure all the sliders are set to the right and any power saving measures, like sleeping the hard drive, are turned off. Do this for both the power adapter and the battery settings. Once you've done that, disconnect the power cable and let the battery discharge completely until the computer shuts down. You can still use it at this time, but don't do anything particularly heavy. Steady and even usage will result in better power system calibration. 
Once the battery is discharged, your computer will automatically shut down. Leave it shut down for at least 5 hours to ensure the battery is completely drained. Finally, reattach the power cable and let the battery charge back up to 100%. This time, you can use the computer while it's charging. Once the battery is charged back up, the power management system is properly calibrated. You can now set your energy saver settings back to what they were before and use your computer normally.